Hello there and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. Now in today's episode we are gonna try and expand a little bit more. There's a few things that we have planned but first of all there was a very good comment in the last episode and it, uh, it was a mention that we might be going a little bit too fast with a few things. So for the people that have not played this game it's a little bit more difficult to follow. So my apologies, yes, I, I do agree. After going through the editing for last one, yeah, yeah we probably could, we could do a better job with explaining a few things a little bit better. So let's have a look how things are on, on our planet here, or the asteroid. Um, so first of all, yeah, this is the star map. And uh, around this area, right now we can't really see them. But there's different points of interest. There could be some planets, there could be some asteroids. And in the future, we'll, we're hoping to travel there. Our one which is called Hevonia, Vanoia, uh, whatever it is, is, is this one here. Home sweet home, and uh, this planet, and like the other ones, are made up of different biomes. So those biomes are separated by this abyssalite, which is quite a strong material and doesn't really uh, transfer heat very well. So for example, here we got a swamp biome. Uh, our home biome is nice and, nice and warm and really good for starting out, but we also got a ice biome and and a few different ones scattered around. Also on this, this planet here, we have different points of interest. The ones we've already noticed and mentioned is the natural gas geyser, which will be helpful with food and electricity in the future. But also this cool steam vent. Even though it says cool, it's not really cool. It's uh, The steam that comes out is at 110 degrees, so we'll definitely have to come up with uh, some sort of a contraption to, uh, to uh, lock it in. But alright, let's uh, get into building a few things. So, as we talked about, uh, well, as I wanted to do, uh, is to improve our food system. So, oxygen, if we look at this overlay here, is already very good. The light blue means that it's a, it's a good pressure here, but uh, we would definitely want to get rid of or relocate all this carbon dioxide here. Now, up top as well, we can notice a few things that are quite usable for us. Consumables are the things that the duplicants can or cannot eat. The schedule, which is quite standard and you've probably seen it in other games as well. Priorities, same thing. Skills, so what sort of skills would we like to improve in our duplicants? And the little hearts here show what they like, so therefore their morale need will be a slightly, a slightly lower. And then we have the research and star map, which we already have seen. So all right, let's start putting a few things down. We would like to have a grooming station here. And this one allows us to make um, those critters a little little happier. Let's put it on a higher speed. So the first critters we are going to go for are the hatches. So the grooming station is going to turn this room into our stable, which will yeah allow us to make them a little bit happier. And um, we what we need is also to feed them. So let's put one of those critter uh, feeders over here and we also need to drop them off so uh, let's drop one here as well now we have a delivery so what do we have i don't think we're gonna get a new two but we will get some copper ore for sure all right moving on let's try and close ourselves in here as well nope we don't have enough granite but that's okay we shall just empty this area Oh, there is one of those shine bugs, which can be... And he disappeared, I think he... Yeah, he's, he's no more. Okay, but he would have been useful to generate some radiation and... And even some electricity if we wanted to... I guess exploit in a way, but it's not really an exploit in my opinion. But I don't really want to open that discussion, so... Um, it's just a feature of a game, I suppose. Right, so in here we are gonna ranch some hatches so let's make sure that we don't go over seven because that is the maximum that should be allowed i believe in a in a room now because we know that the duplicants are not the brightest of minds we're gonna mine every every other one because i don't want anyone getting stuck in there and okay so these hatches we would like to feed them Let's see, hatches. If we have sedimentary rock, then that would be that would be great. We'd also like to have another ranch just down here. And the reason why we're cramming them in here is because we'd um, like to limit their movement. So that helps with uh, the calculations. 
but also the time our rancher has to wait for the critter to, to arrive. Okay, so whilst that is happening in here, let's queue up one more room, actually. We'll do the exact same thing on this side. Do you know what? We can already wrangle them. Let's just try and... Uh, where's the other tool? Let's try and catch them all. Oh, we don't have any wrenching skills handed out yet. I believe it was Rowan. So, Rowan, why don't you... And get a critter. Critter hat as well. So you are now a rancher. Okay, as soon as they finish this in here, we'll enclose this room as well. So right now it's a very small room and we probably can't... We can probably only do one hatch in there, but... As soon as this is completed, then um, we should be able to do a bit more. Also, what's happening down here is we are making our way towards this lovely little pool of polluted water. And I'd like to empty this out so that way we can go all the way... Oh, I guess we can't go all the way down. Also, another trick that we could do here, because there is Neutronium here and here as well. We know there's some sort of point of interest, such as one of those Kaisers, perhaps. So a little trick, if you did not know, is to go into priorities, choose the highest one. And now the yellow alert is going to tell us that this is an hydrogen vent. Okay, so what we will do as soon as we... Oh, we do have Igneous Rock. We'd like to make sure that we don't accidentally open this up when we start traveling a little bit lower. Now, as we are going up and down, is anyone constructing those? Yes, they are. Okay, so that's fantastic. Already have one of those critters here, so that's uh, also very good. As soon as the rest of it gets done, we'll we'll try and measure out the, the right size of this room. Actually, let's open this one up so we can have a bit more... No, let's not do that, because then we can't really wrench them. So this one right now is idle, wild, happy and groomed. And once we've done enough grooming, then uh, they'll hopefully become a little happier. And right now we can also say that they are overcrowded because this room is very small. And yeah, we're just going to wait until they hopefully get this done. Actually, let's give this a high priority. We would like this to be done pretty much ASAP. And we make a little bit of space there. Let's just check the priorities real quick as well. Building how many... Okay, so May and Frankie are the main builders and Marie is helping us with digging. Okay, so that's that's great. Alright, the room is almost ready. So now we're just going to measure out what is the size that we, we would like this to be. So I believe the doors, we can go all the way here. And let's give this a slightly higher priority as well. Once it is done, we'll just double check. I think we'll have to put an extra tile... Just about somewhere, somewhere here. Yeah. Okay, so if we go into room overlay, it is 97 tiles. Although 96 is maximum, so we'll... Let's get this uh, this one done as well, so that way we can um, have enough space for our creators. Okay, so as the top one is done, we'd actually like to have one of the storage bins. Wait, let's quickly check. Yep, it is a stable now, which is fantastic. And we got a few... Hatch is already in as well. So we would like to place one of those storage bins in here. And the reason for that is we'd just like to keep a little bit of food nearby. When we need to feed them or top this one up, at least we'll have a, a box of resources nearby. And they don't have to run all the way across the map, which is which is always great. Okay, so these bits are done. We would like to find a bit of sedimentary rock. So that helps us turn these hatches into, into stone hatches. And I've noticed there's a little bit, a little bit around this uh, this swamp biome here, which is great. Let's first try and oh, we are gonna need some electricity, so let's do that, and we'll bring you up like so. As soon as we got this in and the pool is empty, then we'll be able to mine the rest of it out from from here. To help this along, I'd like to. This is all sandstone. That's fine. I'd like to keep going towards this side, which also has a large pool of sedimentary rocks over here. So we'll try and grab as many or as much as we can, really. In this area also, we have slime lung germs, which it's not going to be fatal for the tubes, but when they get slime lung, they're just going to get a little bit sick and then start coughing everywhere. So we'll, we'll try and keep them as healthy as we can. No promises, though. Right, what's happening here? We could make actually a nature reserve let's see if we can put one in right about there probably need to go a little bit 
up as well. And then I guess we'll block ourselves in just like so. Then probably need to put some doors around the place too just to make sure it stays as a as a room and with the nature reserve if we look at this over here we can go up to 120 tiles and that uh, let's go back here actually that gives us a plus six morale which again is going to help us up upskill our duplicates and keep them keep them even happier so to do that let's see if we go to furniture we have to plop down one of those bark signs that seems like a good spot for that and because we have more, at least four plants in this area, once we get those doors in and uh, this area closed up as well, we should be able to turn this into a nature nature reserve. Okay, another delivery has arrived, so let's take a quick look. Does anyone have anything useful? Ooh, not bad, but yeah, we just we're we're gonna take some materials instead because yeah. Food situation is starting to improve, but we don't really want to keep getting more dupes unless it's mechatronics. Uh, so right, let's have a look. How big is this room? We could probably go a little bit lower, but I think for the time being, let's see, where can we... Maybe about here is when we put some temporary doors. Okay, it also seems our wiring is complete. So the next thing we can now do, we don't have more granite, we're definitely going to have to try and take some more. Let's, uh, oh, let's close them up as well. Let's start uh, moving some of that polluted water upwards. And to do that, we'll just have to connect these sections up there. Okay, so that's great. And now we got all this polluted water being, being removed from the swamp biome on that side, at least. Okay, seems the ladders are done as well, which is very, very nice and efficient. And I guess what we what we'll do is let's try and concentrate all that that water towards one end of the map. Yeah, let's see. Maybe we'll get the get the fish out from here as well because they are gonna keep eating all that algae. And what else are they having? Ooh, a long list of different things. So yeah, let's uh, bring you down. Oh, I guess we'll have to go all the way down. Well, that's fine. We'll move down from from here probably keep the abyssalite intact because that's going to be quite quite handy because if you look at the overly actually temperatures are fairly similar between those two biomes so in some ways it doesn't matter too much but i'd like to keep this water concentrated in in one uh, one area and this area as well what we will be doing will create a ladder system that's that has a three tile cap because that means at some later stages, when we want to remove those ladders, then it's going to be much easier to do so. So let's keep that keep that going. Just a couple more levels and we can do the same in here. And we'll just bring it all the way through. Okay, let's deal with the water as well. So everyone, let's have a look so from here. Let's have a few ladders. And then we, we are going to go down just through here and then we'll keep adding ladders just all the way through Ooh, there's quite a bit more stuff here actually so yeah let's open it all up as much as we as much as we can i'd like them to prioritize the ladders first so let's give this a nice little six and then as soon as that's done we'll drop down a few levels actually you know what we'll just do it all once they get to uh, this side in there. Right, so now with the door and the airflow dial in, and also the bark sign, let's have a quick look. We do have a nature reserve that is 73 tiles, which means we could definitely expand it even even further, but we just have to get rid of some water first. Research, ooh, we've left this for quite some time now, haven't we? As I think we said before, there isn't anything too important the incubator could be actually handy. Let's do one of those, and we're gonna need to put back the bitch a bump as well so yeah let's leave you there there is fine and maybe another one of those tiles okay great how much water has already gone through quite some bit but that's uh oh the tank is already full so this means let's deconstruct a few of you we'll throw a couple more more of these tanks in here okay there we go a couple more in and all we gotta do now is just connect them up with with these pipes. Great, so two additional ones. Hopefully we'll get all the, uh, rid of all this polluted water there, uh, which will then allow us to keep keep digging lower 
but we'll we'll see now i believe our duplicates have quite a few skill points so i'd like to upgrade a couple of things so everyone is gonna get improved carrying for sure and i think for uh, rowan over here let's do a critter ranching level two so that's gonna speed up his uh tending mary what are you up to you were helping us with digging so how about let's do one more in there and give you an upgraded hat may you were constructing things so improved carrying and construction and frankie let's actually check frankie what are you up to you're enjoying doing both but let's give you these two skills and bubbles okay research and let's do improved carrying as well and that should be good for now so as we said before we want to bring some of those resources a little bit closer so let's do the do the same thing right now are these guys happy okay so another problem that we are gonna have is that um we're gonna get quite a lot of uh, eggs in here and once the there's too many eggs those critters will feel that it's overcrowded so let's try and get rid of those eggs as well we're not gonna crack them but we'll probably dump them slightly lower somewhere here but there's so many actually do you know what let's just um let's see do we have the auto dropper no we don't okay so we'll put down a storage for the time being and hopefully with the research we can unlock the automatic dispenser oh a sage hatchling egg yeah they are dropping them pretty pretty quickly so let's um let's see if we can find the right research after this level is done is anyone researching we should have something yep we do and the incubator is actually next so that's that's also great but if i remember correctly that's gonna need refined metal yeah so we're definitely gonna have to expand okay so quite a few construction projects there but we're not gonna make it easier on ourselves let's just keep going up a little bit and we'll poke our head into that little pool to have a look what's happening in here I'd like to find another water source that isn't steaming hot, just like this cool steam went there. So uh, yeah, let's keep going both upwards and downwards to see what else we can we can spot. Another thing I noticed that during editing in the last episode is we missed a little link in here. So now finally this um, sink is going to be connected as well. Actually, this we don't need to upgrade. We just need to build one over there. Yeah, quick little little fix that I noticed. Time for another delivery. Let's take a look. What do we have? Ellie with doctoring. No, not really useful. Building and doctoring, same thing. So let's take a snazzy suit. And someone's stress is really high. That's Frankie. Frankie, how about we give you give you this suit and put this on so you can hopefully feel a little bit better. Someone else is stressed out as well. Do we have another suit there? No, I thought we got a second one. I uh, might be mistaken. Would be nice if uh, Marie got one as well. Actually, where is Frankie? Oh, that's Marie. Why are you so stressed? Oh, wow. Okay, quite a few. Pop the air drum, slime lung, soggy feet, hungry, yucky lungs, chilly surroundings. Ooh, that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty rough. But uh, as long as it doesn't get too high, we'll uh, keep our eye on it. Yeah, we don't want him to have a stress reaction. Is anyone putting some power in here? Oh, no, Bubbles is on break right now. Okay, all fine. Hopefully tomorrow we'll get it in because... We'd like to keep those deodorizers operational. Bring the gas overlay up. Uh, yep, everything seems pretty much clean. There's a little bit of polluted oxygen there. But I'm sure we'll, we'll manage to clean that up soon as well. Actually, do you know what? If we go into priorities, let's give uh, someone... Um, let's see. It's not life support. Was it operating? Yes. So maybe someone else could help us out with that let's uh, tell everyone to have a slightly higher priority when it comes to power production okay so now we're just gonna wait a little bit until either this pool is empty or once the they build this ladder and we'll be back right away it seems uh, both of those liquid reservoirs are full so it is time to deconstruct them drop all that polluted uh, water underneath for some more o2 production and as soon as that is done, we're just going to build the uh, new ones to replace them to allow a bit more water to flow through. So let's do one over here. And uh, I've emptied this little pool, which means 
even more water to to empty out but as soon as yeah it's done then it's gonna be so much so much easier so let's have these two built please and we'll we'll get that get that done now i've also noticed this area is pretty pretty toasty here so what i'd like to start doing is just to insulate our starting colony a little bit better and what we'll do is we'll probably have to build diagonally when it comes to this section here and then we'll we'll do the same just over there as well the reason why we are building it diagonally because i'd like to keep that chlorine and yeah mostly chlorine sectioned off in here and not to mix with the other gases in this in this area or to flow down it's going to be handy for us later on so if it's uh, nicely in this area we'll just let it sit there and uh, Hopefully we'll harvest it and use it in one of the or some of the rooms later on. All right, so another thing that's nearby our base, which we didn't check out before, is the teleporter. Which, uh, let's take a look. We'll click on the destination and there is a new new planetoid nearby us. Let's click on the oversee and we can uh, It doesn't really reveal a lot, but it is definitely very, uh, very cold. The temperatures are down to minus 40, 46 in some areas. But there seems to be some living areas and we, we also have a power production unit here and something else that we can't quite see. Don't think we'll be able to go there just yet, but uh, in the future for, for sure we'll check it out and um, expand our base to the other, other planet as well. But right now it's a little too early for us to pay a visit. Now it, uh, it does seem the duplicants spend quite a lot of time producing us some power, so I guess it's... It is time to start upgrading uh, our power network as well. And the coal generator is the, is the next obvious go-to. But we are going to need some refined metal for, for the smart battery. Because if we don't have a smart battery and use one of the, one of the basic ones, then they will essentially uh, keep the coal running 24-7, which we don't really need. The smart battery and automation allows us to control that, so... For example, if we set it up correctly, then we can uh, have the smart battery tell when the coal generator should turn off and it will it will do so if, if and when we use automation. It is pretty safe to go down there right now. We'll put in a couple of ladders and let's have a look which side is probably easier for us to go. There's a little bit on the left side. Right side is a further away, so this is probably closer. And uh, I suppose this obsidian should be strong enough in theory so that we could we could make our way down there so let's do that and hopefully we can reach one of them i think we've uh, reached the point where we just have so many eggs in here that the hatchling or hatches are finally feeling a little cramped in here and uh what we'll do actually do we have access to the automated bin or are we still researching it we are still researching it so for the time being, what we what we can do is we can use a little little trick here. We can find critter eggs, and that's to level eight priority. And now we'll sweep up. Actually, let's just uh, sweep the eggs and the sage one as well. So hopefully now our duplicates will will come pick up those eggs and move them into the into the storage bin. And we actually have the same just over over here but nobody seems to be very interested in doing that yep so we'll probably have to increase the priority and i guess rowan maybe you could you could uh, help us out as soon as you finish your your beauty sleep and here we go we've got a couple of eggs already being delivered that's actually that's may how about these these other eggs is anyone gonna deliver them as well? Mm, not not yet. Let's see, Rowan probably should do it next. Yep, he's picked up a couple of eggs. And now we check the hatches. They are happy again and no longer cramped in this tiny little space. Oh no, there's another one. Okay, let's, uh, let's get these ones out from here. And here we go. Now it's all nicely, nicely cleaned up. A uh, quick uh, look at this progress here. We are starting to get to the lower levels, but we're we're also getting distracted here. So let's give this slightly even higher priority, and hopefully May, sorry, that's Mary, will take interest in this as well. Actually, I think she's 
focused on digging, so May will do the construction. We have finally managed to get our hands on some of the magical iron or the refined metal, so now it's time to start putting in some power. Now, also what I've noticed is the slime lung is starting to climb up towards our base. So one way we could we could try and deal with that if we have any seeds. Yes, we do have one body part seed. But this area is already filled with uh, slime lung, so let's bring it slightly uh, slightly higher, maybe right next to it. We'll put one of those pots over there. Let's just double check. Was it? Oh yeah, it's already up there actually. So we'll go step by step. And the reason why we're gonna put body blood in there is, first of all, there can only be one type of germ in a space in a given space, and the body bond gives off what was it called? The floral scent, I think it was. We'll stick you in here, and then um, as soon as it's planted, then we can check. But that should uh, help suppress the slime lung that's trying to climb towards our our base here. Right, so back to power requirements. Let's put uh, one of those generators about there. We'll also like to have one of the... Actually, let's put it the other way around. We'll do a storage unit right about there. One of those power generators. We'll leave one tile gap in here. Actually, I think we only need one for the time being. So yeah, let's do something like that. And when we go to automation, we'll get the automation wire, connect them up. And we'll also actually do need the normal one, the power wire as well. And as soon as this is done, let's give this the highest of priorities. Let's get these things built. And then uh, we should have some uh, some different power. Okay, so let's check out the body part as well. Is, yep. Okay, so there are some germs coming from here. Let's see what it's called. Is it gonna show us? Oh yeah, the floral scent. Fortunately, I don't think anyone's allergic in our colony. So after some time, this whole area should be filled with these uh, pink. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, it's gonna spread really, really quickly. And it seems the slime lung is retreating a little bit. There's a constant battle happening here for, uh, for space. But over, over some time, we we'll, should be able to start pushing it downwards as well. Because Slime Lung does not survive very well in the clean oxygen here. So that should help us. And I actually noticed there's another box of, uh, or a bottle of polluted water, which we do want to get rid of. So yeah, let's, let's uh, remove those. The goal seems to be already working. Now let's set it up. So we want this generator to run until the battery is filled to 90% and we'd like you to start working let's say about uh, if it drops to 30% so that way this should keep it going what we'll also do is we'll set you up so we always have coal nearby to our colony right let's have a look at this delivery here as well anything interesting not really so yeah we'll recheck these duplicates and with that power being done, it is a good time now to call, call an end to this episode. We got the hatches done, a bit of farming. In the next one, we're gonna try and condense this water in here. I know it would be much better if that water storage was a little bit bigger, but I think right now we should be fine. We we'll, can always put a few of those storages in here as well. But we'll empty this pool and then we'll also start... Oh, we do have something in here. It is the cool slush geyser, and the water comes out at minus 10, so that's actually fantastic. So yeah, we are gonna try and harness the power of this water there, and condense this area down a little bit as well. But okay, thank you very much for watching in this episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you do have any questions or would like some clarification, feel free to drop it in the comments, and other than that, we'll see you in the next episode.